right, well, this video went absolutely horribly, and I almost didn't bother making it to post, but you know what, I spent like th at least two and a half hours, probably three hours, and I don't feel like getting nothing out of it, so... I'm going to present to you the fractions of a video that did, in fact, manage to freaking record. Uh, I'm going to do the, uh, the, the good news, I guess, first before I get into my angry rant of all of the issues that happened. So... And I'm going to explain what the hell I'm doing. Uh, so, we did a gaming... We're doing a gaming channel, as some of you probably know by now. I would hope, because I made an announcement video, and I also did the Monica thing, and so... I've done, I've done a little bit uh, to announce it. And on this uh, channel, we are now playing Boulder's Gate. Um... And as someone whose only interaction with Boulder's Gate has very intentionally been only hearing other people speak about it vaguely and seeing memes and shorts across the internet, as those are nearly unavoidable, and also having managed to like not have too many spoilers, um... My my brain has kind of, for some reason, decided that Starion reminds me of Lockhart, except he's actually capable of backing up his claims. Uh, and it has, it has done this for some time. Uh, I don't know if it's like the fantastical way in which they both dress or speak or the general overdramaticisms that they both enjoy using. <laughs> um, or the pouty way in which they get when something goes wrong. I couldn't tell you why my brain has assigned a, these things. What I can tell you is that I had to inevitably end up uh, doing something about it. And this is me doing something about it, I suppose. Uh, hence the random Lockhart quotes that are, that are used, because that makes sense to me. Um, now, on to the me whining and complaining. I bought this camera because it was supposed to be uh, able to function wirelessly. It was supposed to be essentially a GoPro like. It was supposed to be like a slightly less quality and because of that significantly less expensive GoPro. Uh, and by that I mean it's like it's not waterproof on its own without you using the case that it comes with. It's not able to do as high of quality pictures, it doesn't have any zoom functions, it's like, it's, it was supposed to be a stripped down, essentially, GoPro. And none of the reviews on it were that massively negative. It had, like, four and a half stars. So I'm like, okay, this thing is not horribly expensive. Surely I can use it as an art camera. As we've already learned that the GoPro does not work particularly well as an art camera because the GoPro overheats very quickly, which is uh, infuriating when what you need is something that can sit there, aim top down at a thing, and stay. And so, because the GoPro didn't work for that, and this thing, at least as far as I had read, did not have any problems with overheating. And at least in what I experienced, doesn't have any problems with overheating. Uh, I was like, surely this will work. 
um, somewhere about halfway through, keep in mind that the battery that it was on, that was in it, had been fully charged. Uh, it had been only roughly an hour, and the battery died. And so that was annoying. Um, not long after that, the memory card that I had in it filled up. And this is an 8 gig memory card, so like, I wasn't sure how much room that, how much it would actually hold. So, I'm like, okay, I have a backup memory card. I'm almost finished with this recording. So... You know, that's not horrible, especially given that the two memory cards that I had were older. I didn't buy them specifically for this. I kind of mostly was only using them because I figured, you know, at most I would end up filming for three or four hours with them and then I would automatically immediately take the footage off and then just delete the footage and the cycle would continue. I didn't buy this one to use as a GoPro, essentially. It was specifically only supposed to be an art camera. Um, I take it, I grab, I put the footage on my computer. While the footage is going onto the computer, I put the extra 2 gig that I have in and start recording the last chunk. By the way, this uh, camera does not warn you in any way, shape, or form when it is running out of the memory on the on the thing until you like click it open and then it's like oh your memory's full it it makes no sound to like warn you that your memory is filling up it just it just is full suddenly when you open it so that wasn't helpful because i have no idea how much of the first two out of the three pieces of this actually recorded so i take it I put it on the computer. I have the videos transferring onto the computer while I finish the last uh, third of the painting. I finish the last third of the painting, shut everything down. I try to... I do the... It's It's got one of those memory card holders where you have to click it and then it like pops out like a toaster almost. Except I clicked it and it fl went flying out of the damn camera. I still have no idea where it is, and it's been it's been 45 minutes since this insta incident has happened, and I still can't find the damn thing. I have checked the entire immediate area. I have dumped all of my pen cases that were on the that were on the desk in order to look into them to see where it went. I have looked in the gap behind the desk. I can't find the damn thing. Which is why you don't get to see me painting the last third of this thing, because I don't know where it went. On top of that, after I finished that, I gave up on looking for it. I went back to check the footage that did get captured. And naturally, as you can no doubt see by how weirdly choppy the footage is, not only do I have only maybe 15-ish minutes of footage and out of me having recorded for at that point in time it had been at least an hour and a half uh, and I have somehow only got like 15-ish minutes of recording and and I'm, I'm guessing because I haven't put it all together yet to edit the video I just know that the longest video that it bothered capturing and keeping all in one segment was only like eight and a half minutes. So, here, here we are with me uh, pasting all of the bits and p all of the like random between 30 second videos and some of them are only like 10 seconds that it bothered saving. Ranging from that to about a minute on average, some of them being two to three minutes and the longest one being like eight and a half minutes. I'm not happy. 
I tried really very hard to make this at least look a little bit more professional. I did. Or at least I did until I realized that the entire thing completely screwed up. And we cannot blame the fact that it was not formatted to the camera because we already argued with that yesterday when we tried recording something with it only to find that the memory chip decided to not delete all of the things that I had already deleted off of it and thus it was only able to store like 10-ish seconds of video. <sighs> I have not had a good last couple of days because of this camera acting up consistently. So what we have learned is that this camera works really exceptionally well as long as you keep it tethered to a laptop or a computer or some other device. And the problem with that is that that renders it nearly impossible to use as a top-down without an amount of rigging which I am incapable of doing at the moment. Which means I am now out my quality top-down camera because the top-down camera that I use regularly for like the smaller art projects is not exceptionally good quality and so here we are I am mostly posting this so that you guys understand the struggle that I went through and am still continuing to go through in terms of equipment and things actually working and being of any quality. So, yeah. Uh, I guess to attempt to end on a better note, um, there is only one more episode of, there's only one more episode of Haunted Ohio and I was going to move on to uh, top 10 ghost stories because I already have that audio recorded. I just have to record me doing art for it. But I'm thinking in order to correspond with the uh, Let's Play that's coming out and in order to make up for how absolutely garbage this video turned out, I am going to probably start reading the uh, Boulder's Gate 2 book that I have. Now, according to the research that I've done, while the Forgotten Realms books do make more sense, or I guess read chronologically, they are all still technically independent stories and thus can be understood separately. That's not to say that I am not going to attempt to find the first uh, Boulder's Gate and probably the third one because I annoyingly only have the one directly in the middle. Which is, you know, kind of just how my luck goes when it comes to books. Uh, because I end up getting a lot of books from like thrift shops and stuff, uh, I end up with a lot of partial series. Uh, so, that's kind of what I'm thinking is, and it's, it's Boulder's Gate 2, and I don't remember which subtitle it is, it's like Ar Arlo or something like that, but I'm thinking since this went so poorly, I'm going to go ahead and start reading that next to kind of correspond with the Let's Play, even though technically the Let's Play is Boulder Gates, Boulder's Gate 3 and the book is Boulder Gates 2. Uh, it's, it's, it's as close as I have and I'm, I'm out of energy. Um, I'm, I'm trying so hard 
and it seems to be getting me very little. Um, so yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess what I'm saying is go check out, uh, me and my boyfriend playing Baldur's Gate 3 on the other channel. It's gonna probably go up Monday. Um, enjoy my admittedly not as good as I would like watercolor of Astarian, 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 uh, pretty vampire boy. <laughs> uh, honestly, I feel like the top two are good and then the bottom one just went horribly wrong when the green decided to spill into everything. Yeah. Um, it appears my general art style, at least for humans, is caught somewhere between anime and cartoon. And I'm not mad at that. Um, it also doesn't uh, tend to help that watercolor is a little bit more unpredictable than some other forms that you can use. Like if I wanted this to be more precise, I would have done it as like a sketch or whatever, but because I'm, I'm, I'm fairly decent at like pencil and paper and whatever, but I'm, I wanted to do it in watercolor because I wanted it to be bright and colorful and like a little bit more cartoony, but like not, like not, I mean like more cartoony compared to the game, obviously. Um, cause I feel like that suits the my style a little bit better I guess I don't know I don't know what I'm on about um maybe at some point in the future I will find where the random two gigabyte memory card where the two gigabyte memory card went and I will be able to uh, post the ending of this as a short or whatever and it or like as part of a blooper reel or whatever just be like hey guess what footage we finally found lol but i spent way too long searching for it only to find that the footage that i did have was incomplete and i am upsetty spaghetti and here we are uh, so I don't know. I tried. I tried real hard. I tried real hard. It just didn't go anywhere. I, I, I'm, I don't know. Annoyingly, the camera that is being used for this is in fact the same camera that is being used as the face cam for the Boulders Gate. Uh, let's play. Mm, excuse me. Because annoyingly, its picture quality is just as good, if not higher, than the um, actual video camera that we bought. Without the added annoyance of having to, of not being able to attach that video camera to the computer to use as a webcam. Which means now we just have a very expensive, a very expensive, uh, video camera and a, a webcam that does the job uh, with just as much uh, quality and now I just still don't have an art camera. <sighs> anyway, uh, go check out the other, ch other channel. I promise I'm more positive in the rest of my videos. Today has just not been a good day. Uh, <laughs> anywho, I hope you enjoy looking at the finished product and watching me struggle to put this video together, I guess. Uh, have fun. Tootaloo.